What's good gang? Welcome back to the channel, man. Do I got something in store for you guys today. Now, what I'm about to show you is one of the main reasons why I'm not so keen on the replica wheels anymore. Now, this is not to bash anyone that has replica wheels or to say if you don't have authentic or three-piece or forged wheels that at that point that you're beneath me or beneath anyone in the car community because you have to work to your own means. You can't live above your own means, correct? Correct. So, I'm just gonna show you why replica wheels are frowned upon in the car community. Now, like I said, when I first started out, I had almost every replica name brand wheel you could think of on my Civic Si. And as I kept selling my wheels and like getting like a higher pay wage, I was able to afford my first set of three-piece wheels. Ever since then, I've been able to flip my three-piece wheels to get bigger and better ones or just even out my total. All right, so I made a video on this before, but that's not what this is about. Like I said, I'm not here to bash anyone with three-piece wheels. I mean, not, not three-piece wheels. Uh, replica wheels or any like off-brand wheel. Like I said, get it by, get it how you can, man. That's It is what it is. At the end of the day, it's your car. You build it for you, right? All right, so I'm going to go show you something. And when I show you this, you're going to be like, God damn, bro. All right, so... When my little brother got my BMW that's sitting over there, I'm not gonna show you the BMW because I've showed it so many times. But my little brother, he bought my old BMW, right? I know, BMW problems. All right, so I'm about to go get these wheels and I'm gonna show you how crazy this is. So the wheels are right there. Now, the brand of these wheels are ESR. Now, like I said, this is no shade to ESR. There's no shade to any off-brand wheel company. Cause like I said, I've ran it before. To be honest, it's my little brother's fault. This guy collects potholes, all right? He collects potholes. He does not try to avoid them or anything. He's had it on the car for like a year, maybe or almost hitting a year, and whew, when I show you this, you're gonna be like, bro, how? How? Whew. All right, so this is the back of one wheel. If you look, you could see where it separated the barrel. So like legit, this face is like literally off. The only reason why it's held together right now is because the tire's still on it, and that's what's keeping it in place right now. Mind you, the inner of this part is all bent. But look at this. This whole thing. This whole thing is cracked. Literally. The other side is worse. So right now, this is the front face of the lip. Of the, the wheel. You see it's like bent in right there. Now this is like a year, a whole year worth of hidden potholes. Now, this side, boy, this side. I legit, when he told me he like blew the tire out, I was like, oh, he probably just hit a tire, I mean, a pothole really hard and it lost air. Hell no. Dude, dude, my little brother is a wild guy. It makes no sense, bro. No sense. All right, so this is the other wheel. Dog. There's legit a hole in this goddamn wheel. Let me brighten this up for y'all. Do y'all not see this? Oh my god, bro. Yo. This is insane, dog. Insane, dog. Let's see the front of it. <laughs> See, bends, bends, it's just bent all over. It's crazy. So, the whole point of me making this video is just that 
you got to be careful with these replica wheels like like i said these replica wheels they look good they're they're they some of them hold up like i said i've never had this problem before i've hit potholes many of times with my reps and i never had this issue but you know you got to be careful when my little brother got these wheels i told him these are good start off wheels this will teach you to like be careful when you're driving make sure you don't hit things look out for curbs and obviously he didn't take that he just went off and ran with it but you know it's not always about buying the most expensive wheels because expensive wheels do bend expensive wheels do break but it's less likely for you to have these kind of issues where you know a one-piece wheel is literally separated from the barrel in the face and i mean even though it's all one it's like separated like it's crazy to me because these wheels aren't forged when you get three-piece wheels they come forged you know it's a harder block it's way stronger it takes more of a hit these ones don't really take a hit like that really well so they, they bend real easy and I, i'm not too certain on what uh kind of like metal they use but i want to say like a cast or something like a cast iron or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm not gonna like go off the top with it but you know with three-piece wheels authentic wheels you're gonna get a forged wheel so it's gonna be way more durable than what you have here but i will say like if you're still on the the market and you're trying to find some wheels that like give you the best bang for your buck and you probably see them around a lot like you know rpf ones mb battles like those are kind of wheels that like i personally will start off with just because they're a little bit stronger they're a little bit more durable i've had mb battles i've had rpf ones and have no complaints and those wheels are around like like a thousand to like I mean, not even a thousand, from like 600 used to like 15 or 1400 new or so, something like that. But I will put you guys onto something that most people don't know. You can buy used three piece wheels. There's no problem with buying used three piece wheels. Every wheels that I've bought were all used, and either I just get them refurbished or I clean them up myself and put them on my car. So you got websites like Three Piece uh, USA, and then you have VR Wheels. Like that's who I normally work with. I work with VR Wheels. They always send me lips and things like that from my car. Like I have two lips downstairs right now that um, I have waiting to be put on my my works. So. You can look into those kind of companies where normally a wheel will be like 3500 you'll get those used wheels for like 1500 2000 and you know they're good quality wheels so that's just my point of view if you're gonna go with replica wheels just be careful okay please just be careful because this really could have been a bad situation for my little brother but you know with everything said he's good the car's okay we put the wheels back on the car so i mean the stock wheels back on the car so now these are going to go in the garbage and i was like i can't just let this video go and not make a video about it so i'm just saying be careful when you get three uh not three i'm sorry i'm all over the place with that being said if you're gonna buy replica wheels just be careful that's it i'm not knocking you i don't hate on uh, replica wheels if you do you do what you want to do Enjoy your car, have fun, and that's all. It's, that's what it's all about. Just have fun, all right? With that being said, your boy Phyllis 2K, I'm out of here. And you, and you deserve.